The word Lord, represented in all capital letters in most English Bibles, is known as the Tetragrammaton. It expresses the combination of these Hebrew letters. This name is countless thousands of years old. It is the most holy name of God, given to Moses at the burning bush, the one that most English translations render as, I am. I am that I am. The Hebrew letters sound like this, Yud, He, Vav in the modern Hebrew, or Wa in the ancient Hebrew, and then He. Yud, He, Wa, He is also the forgotten name of God, which Jewish scholars and researchers say has a meaning and a pronunciation that was lost because their ancestors have refused to speak it aloud since about a generation before the Roman destruction of the temple in Jerusalem. Today, yud he wah is most often rendered as Yahweh when written or spoken by Christians and others. It is still never pronounced aloud by Orthodox Jews. The pronunciation Jehovah is an older, less accurate rendition of these letters. It originated with the early German translators of the Hebrew language and their sounds, thus the more Germanic sound of Jehovah. yud he wah Let's investigate the ideographic meaning of the Hebrew letters yud he wah he An ideogram is a symbol that represents an idea like the male and female shaped signs that you see on the outside of public restroom doors. Hebrew letters have had ideographic meanings since the most ancient of times. There are several ideographic meanings for each of the letters. Aleph, for example, the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, can mean both ox or bull. Bet the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet represents the words house or tent. But in each case, the ideas represented by each of the letters are very closely related. With all of this in mind, using the ideographic meanings of yud he wah he most commonly accepted by Jewish scholars throughout the centuries, the translation of the letters yud he wah he of the holy name of God, symbolically speaking, can accurately be translated as yud, the hand, he, a window or the meaning, behold or look, and wah, a nail. So, symbolically speaking, the combination of these letters can be accurately and most assuredly translated as yud he wah he Behold the hand, behold the nail. When one considers that Yeshua, or Jesus, in Hebrew, means Yahweh is our salvation, then the meaning is even richer. Through Jesus, Yahweh provided our salvation. If you don't believe it, behold the hand, behold the nail. Let us examine the name of Jesus as it is written in Hebrew and a particular claim that Jesus makes about himself. First, the name of Jesus. Jesus' name is pronounced Yeshua in the Hebrew. His name is formulated from the Hebrew letters Yud, Shin, Wa, and Ayin. What do each of these letters represent or mean in the Hebrew ideograms? Yud represents the idea 
of making or creating. Sheen represents the idea of consuming or destroying. Wa represents the idea of adding or securing. Ayin represents the idea of knowing or seeing or experiencing. Stringing these thoughts together then from the four letters that make up the name of Jesus, one can accurately arrive at this meaning. Yeshua, the one who creates, the one who destroys, the one who secures, and the one who knows and wishes you to experience Him, Yeshua. Now for the claim that Jesus made of Himself. This claim comes from the book of Revelation. Jesus declares in Revelation chapter 1 verse 8, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Of course, Alpha and Omega are the Greek words for the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. If Jesus said this in Hebrew, he would have said, I am the Aleph and the Ta, again the first and last letters of the Hebrew alphabet. What are their ideograms? First, the Aleph. The symbol for the Aleph is the bull. The idea represented is one of a leader or the first or one of strength. This is particularly interesting because any student of the Old Testament knows that just as Jesus literally fulfilled the prophecies of the Passover lamb, he also fulfills the Old Testament sacrificial system of the bull that was required for the sins of the high priest. Since Jesus is the great high priest without sin, he also becomes that sin offering the bull. The Aleph speaks to him being the sinless high priest of the universe in the very same way that the Passover lamb speaks to what Jesus did on Calvary's cross. And the Ta, the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Its meaning is the covenant or the seal. The attachment of this symbol to the person and work of Jesus is unmistakable. He is our new covenant with God. His Holy Spirit is our seal. It is through the blood of Jesus that we enter into covenant relationship with God. And what is the symbol of the Ta? Since the most ancient of times, the symbol of the covenant or the seal to the ancient Hebrew with the letter Ta was the sign of of all things, a cross. The name of Jesus declares, Yeshua, the one who creates, the one who destroys, the one who secures, and the one who knows, and the one who wishes you to experience Him. The claim of Jesus as first and last declares, I am the great high priest, sinless and interceding for you, sealed by the covenant that I made at Calvary's cross.